I want to take this opportunity to show you a process that I've created to make it easier to connect to the Microsoft Cloud services using PowerShell. Now, the place to start is to go to my GitHub repo, so go to github.com slash director CIA, and then you need to click into the Office 365 repository. Now, here you'll see a whole range of files, and in that list there, you'll also see uh, that I have many, many different uh, connection scripts to allow you to connect to things like Skype and Teams and so on. Now, that can always still uh, be a little bit confusing as to how to make that happen. Now, what I've done is I've gone in and created a generic menu script, which I call C, and that will basically run a menu process and allow you to select the services you want to connect to. So to do that, basically what you'll need to do is to clone or download all the files in my repository because we'll need the menu file along with all the connection files. So basically take a complete copy of the repository, which you can do. Once you've got that, go to that directory and that what we want to do then is we want to run that uh, C script. All right, so just type in and run C like this and it will come up with a menu as shown here. Now what we can do is we can select individual um, services to connect to as you can see just by clicking on them. We can also use the shift key to uh, select uh, between the range there much like we do with file manager and likewise we can also use the control key to uh, select multiple uh, options there as well. So we can use just a single click, we can use shift and click and we can use control uh, and click to make multiple selections. So what I'm going to do here is I will select Teams and say Exchange Online. So I want to connect to uh, both of those. So I will click OK. And then what it's going to do is it's going to then run those individual scripts behind the scenes and it will connect uh, to those services for me. And it will again take me through the uh, any multi-factor authentication that I need to go through based on the requirements um, of that tenant. All right, so in this case, we are connecting up uh, firstly to Teams, and then you'll see once that's finished, we then go through the same process to connect to Exchange Online, which are the two options that we selected uh, from that menu there. And that will then allow us to run uh, any commands against both of the modules that we've loaded. So this is going to make it a little bit easier to be able to connect to all those different uh, Microsoft uh, online services using PowerShell. Uh, okay, so we're finished there. So if I go, for example, get Marbox, which is uh, an exchange command. And then if I go uh, the same and go to the team one, you'll see that we've got uh, both of those loaded. So we can now interact with both of those services thanks to the fact that we've loaded uh, that module up. Now, again, the way that you do that basically um, is to run that uh see PowerShell script okay so that's going to give you this menu which allows you to select what you want now what I've also done is I've also created uh, what I call an R or remove script now what that will do is that will remove all the modules uh, from the environment for you as well so this allows you to jump in and out um, of the modules uh, as you require now remember the process was that you'll need to go to uh, my GitHub repository, go into Office 365 and then basically what you'll need to do is either download or clone the repository and then have a local copy. Once you've got a local copy then you can go in and basically run the uh, C script and then you'll also be able to run the R script later on when you want to remove things and work in another uh, environment without those modules loaded. So hopefully that will make things a little bit easier for people to connect to PowerShell uh, when they want to access Microsoft uh, 365 services or cloud services. And again, the idea here is that that will give you that capability to uh, work with those services once they are loaded. So again, hopefully everybody's got some benefit out of that. Don't forget to make sure that you check in on my repository regularly because I do update this um, over time and get all the latest updates that I do put out. And then if you scroll down the bottom here, you'll see there's also a getting started option, which will take you to uh, more documentation uh, about this. And of course, I keep building this out and adding to it. So again, as I mentioned, please make sure that you do check back regularly. So with that, thank you very much for watching this video.